So I wanted to show off this. Done. But I can't. There it is, sort of. Get my hand in the way here. Not done. Dumb read switch. Read switch is what's used, turn it on and off. You put a read switch in so the power is interrupted with a magnet when you open it up, it goes on. You've seen that on my other tricorders. <sighs> New one's coming. We'll get it done soon. But that's not what I want to talk about. Greetings, Dave here, DCBVX. I want to talk about, well, I want to talk about the tricorder because, you know, I plan these things far out in advance and, you know, I, that was the plan, but, well, the best laid plan is a mice, as they say. I got it all together and, you know, I just lied to my wife. I said, I'll do this over a couple days and then Sunday afternoon, I was almost done. And then the reed switch, I was you know, putting it in place and you had the magnet set in the, in the, the lid and everything else and it just kind of, this is, <laughs> Uh, did some talking with Jerry and got things back and forth and uh, figured out it's a battery switch. I've ordered a new one, so I should have them in soon, but anyway, I gotta wait. Also, in that vein, I was taken to task by Jerry. He says, this is not an LCD screen, it's an OLED. And you're on, I can hear you thinking, Dave, what's the difference? Let me show you. An OLED is an organic light emitting diode. Let me get this. I have to use this for reference because Jerry's talking, you know, stuff. So, I want to get it right. So it's an organic light emitting diode versus an LCD, which is a liquid crystal display. So an, OL, uh, uh, an OLED is much brighter in sunlight, uh, LCD not so much. If you've taken, you know, old devices out, you know what that's all about. The OLED screens provide higher quality and use a whole lot less power. Now on these things, we're running them off at a 3.7 volt LiPo, so the less power you draw, the better. Um, OLED, OLEDs have better viewing angles. LCD is great like this. You go off to the side, color goes, off to the side, color goes. OLED much, much wider range, which is really perfect if you're on that you know, away mission. You gotta know what the tricoder is saying. Uh, da, da, da. And an LCD over time loses luminosity. So it's eventually gonna fade over time. An OLED 20 years from now, well, let's say 20, I guess. 20 years, 10 years, it's going to look as perfect today or then as it does today. And then the last thing is about that is an LCD, because it's backlit, cannot make perfect black. An OLED can because it basically is turning the pixel off. So because you're looking at track displays where a lot of the L cars is mainly black based, you want to have that. It's just going to look so perfect in your track pops. So that's why we went with OLED versus LCD. So in that vein, that is what's going on right now. I wanted to just fill you in on where I'm at. Like I said, I had everything planned out and today was gonna be the day I show off the finished tricorder and it ain't done. For all you English majors out there, sorry about ain't. But that's the level of my, eh. It's gonna be done soon, it will be. I've got everything done. I've got it all there. I've got the pieces soldered. They're all just hanging there by a couple uh, wires there. I just need to get this in and get that in and get that in. But I gotta get the read switch perfect before I can close everything up. But it's close. And like I said before, if you make four or five of these, you get pretty good at putting them together. So that's my video for today. I hope everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you all.